Good evening. Two teens have been arrested in connection with an armed robbery in North Battleford earlier this month. Police say the youth armed uh, robbed rather a cab driver in the early hours of August 8th. They were allegedly armed with knives and a gun. They took off with an undisclosed amount of cash. The driver wasn't injured in the incident and the youths are expected to appear in court in September. Labor Day long weekend is here and the latest and the last as the last long weekend of the summer. It means extra drivers will be on the road trying to take full advantage of the season before the realities of back to work and back to school set in. The local police will look to crack down on drivers who drink, speed and fail to buckle up when enjoying the long weekend. Distracted, uh, distracted driving is also uh, um, yeah, quite prevalent uh, and uh, when you're not uh, when your eyes are not on the road uh, then that's when uh, bad things can happen. In Saskatchewan Mounties say 120 people have died on the road so far this year which is much higher than the 87 at this point last year. Seen, uh, a slight increase in our uh, injury accidents uh, this last year um, certainly uh, that is concerning to us uh, and that's why we uh, have the targeted enforcement that we do in the community. They say that alcohol and speed are the main factors in many of these incidences. Starting this Tuesday, the City of Lloydminster will begin their annual street improvement program. The city has selected a few sections that they'll be focusing on. Improvements will be made to road, concrete and pavement surfaces as well as general gutter and sidewalk repairs. And there are a few areas of the city they'll be especially focusing on. Probably the one that requires the most work. Uh, second would be 47th Street. People and businesses in the area of construction shouldn't have too much to worry about. Expect a few delays uh, for a couple, two or three days, uh, depending on what street they're on. I know on 57th Street uh, they might uh, expect a few delays, but it shouldn't be anything too serious. And as for an update on the 44th Street overlay project on the Alberta side, uh, early next week rather than by the end of today, which is what we initially thought. Back to school is just around the corner, but it's not just the kids getting ready to go back. Lloydminster Public School Division pumped up its teachers today ahead of the first day of classes. Hundreds of teachers pack the theater at Lakeland College. The opening ceremony is a chance for everyone within the LPSD to regroup and refocus. Well, we, we don't get opportunities like this to be together as a staff to hear one message. And really for me and, and Colleen Young, who's our board chair, uh, it's really the only opportunity to be face to face. Diachuk had three key messages to get across, including their updated belief statement that students can learn to high levels within the right support system. So when we look at those belief statements, they really are a call to action to say, do you, do you believe, do you subscribe to these pieces? Because that's what we stand for. A message that resonated with the teachers. I do feel more prepared. It's nice to see those, like hear those belief statements and have everybody excited about them as well. And for the teachers new to the LPSD, today took away many of the first day nerves. But to be honest, I was really nervous until uh, today and yesterday coming from the Northwest Territories with a very small uh, isolated sort of focus, uh, but after hearing the messages and just realizing the focus on people, uh, more than just the business of education. I'm excited about uh, the possibilities for this year. It's so inspirational and so ready to have all the teachers and it's pretty powerful sitting in this room with everyone. The event also recognized 11 teachers nominated by the parents for their excellence in teaching. Lloydminster's only child psychiatrist said something needs to be done to boost services here in the area. In a story we first brought you yesterday, the Prairie North Health Region is asking the Saskatchewan and Alberta government to bring in 10 inpatient beds at the Lloydminster Hospital. As Nermanisa reports, the shortage of service here in the border city could lead to a dire situation down the road. I don't like turning away clients, right? But... Um for, for non-urgent cases right now, it's about 18 months waiting. Dr. Lindy Skrbanta is the Border City's only child psychiatrist. She sees about 15 clients a day. Now, in a region that has more than 45,000 residents, her services are stretched thin. Ideally, everybody should be seen within two or three months at the most. 
but that's just not possible. There are currently three psychiatrists in the city, with a fourth one on the way. But with Dr. Scribanta's 18-month waiting list, kids who need help may be lost in the system. The psychiatrist deals with children aged 3 to 19 who are suffering from issues such as developmental delays, anxiety, ADHD, and depression. The longer a problem persists, the bigger it potentially becomes, right? So a lot of times if you can intervene early, you can prevent a depression from getting much worse. Dr. Scribanta believes the lack of inpatient beds is due to the fact Lloyd Minster lacks the proper infrastructure. She says the provinces need to provide these beds so these services here in the city don't suffer. I know that some um, GPs are referring elsewhere just because they know it's going to take so long to get in here, which is a problem for people that live close by, right, and then have to drive to Edmonton or Saskatoon to access child and youth psychiatry services. The doctor says that sort of situation isn't ideal for young patients who she says needs to be taken care of right away. With children, I firmly believe the earlier you can intervene and the more effectively you can intervene, the bigger of a difference you can make. Nair Manisa, New Cap News.